right after my btech i got married so after that i couldn't concentrate on my career i can see people who are saying that i'm just sitting at home and i'm a homemaker i i felt like i i should have my own identity so she is my first inspiration i should say she has confidence in me she says that you if you try even now you can get it and even my husband uh, he motivated me a lot and he helped me in each and every phase few of the companies have rejected my resume Uh, I know that it is just because of the career gap. So let's try to imagine a scenario where you have more than five plus or ten plus or fifteen plus years of career gap. Would you even dare to think that you can restart your career after having this much of career gap? It definitely looks really tough. And when it comes to the data-related job profile, it seems impossible. But after watching this podcast, I can bet. you will never ever say that restarting your career after having n plus years of career gap is impossible we have a really amazing guest today who actually seen a lot of things in her life and that actually created 16 years of career gap for her so watch this podcast till the very end she will be sharing her entire life experience with you all and most important part how she restarted her career after this much of career gap the complete step by step experience share this podcast with all those people who are having the career gaps and still figuring out how to restart their career and before starting this podcast make sure to hit the like button in the big numbers quickly at least for her tough journey and finally after waiting for such long period of time i have launched my hindi channel as well Yes finally it is launched link is in the description go check that out subscribe to the data wale bhaiya right now all right so thank you so much angelina for joining me in this podcast and very excited first of all to have a discussion with you there are lots of things to talk about your life and journey but it would be really great if you can give a short introduction to the audience about your past background current professional background first of all thank you for giving me this opportunity um my background uh, is i'm from uh, triple background i completed my btech in 2006 uh, and uh, right after my completion of background uh, uh, btech i got married immediately just in uh, two or three months so after that i couldn't concentrate on my career um but again after one year or so i tried to get a job in gestile so i worked there for 11 months around but again uh, because of the relocation issue with my husband's job i had to quit the job and then uh, it was like uh, i'm totally into my family responsibilities i'm having a kid and i just almost uh, i couldn't uh, think about my career at all but still uh, and then but still i have a thought like why couldn't i go ahead why am i sitting like this i should do something i have a, uh, whenever i see someone or whenever i go out and uh, look at look at some companies or something i i do get a feeling like i studied this much and i'm not doing anything so uh, at that time uh, i thought last year Oh my my kid he is in 6th class now he completed 6th so i felt like uh, he is okay he can take care of himself so that was the moment when i thought to restart my career when you completed your graduation in 2006 and then 16 years of gap in 2022 you restarted your career in the analytics yeah. so why this 16 year of gap and what all things you went through during this period of time mostly i was into my family responsibilities Mm-hmm. but still uh, i can see people who are saying that i'm just sitting at home and i'm a homemaker i i felt like i i should have my own identity that is the point at which i thought i should restart my career i myself had a thought that i'm not uh, doing anything i should i should do something and apart from that uh, i had some people who were saying that uh, she studied this much and she is doing nothing mm. but still uh, i know that the reason why i am doing i am like that mm. but uh, i know that if i can uh, come to a point where i can start my career I, i can do it i have that confidence this is great and i would like to know from you guys as well like if you also have Uh, or you face these kind of things these are the demotivating factors first of all so let me know in the comment section after 16 year of gap how did you get that motivation to restart your career and most most important i would like to add who inspired you to do that because you were mostly into your family so you 
needed a support system right to yeah. just support you that hey angelina restart your career and we are there for you so how that motivation came and how you re- actually restarted your career um, my parents uh, they made me to marry very soon but still they they felt like i should start my career my mother um, basically she is a B- uh, mba bed graduate and uh, she is a school teacher uh, she is a retired school teacher government school teacher and while uh, i was having my child she did the double mba so mm-hmm. to pursue her uh, uh, get a promotion so mm-hmm. she is my first inspiration i should say Mm-hmm. she always says that uh, she has confidence in me she says that uh, you if you try even now you can get it <laughs> that is the thing and even my husband uh, he motivated me a lot and he helped me in each and every phase that's great and that's so sweet i mean your family your mother father and your husband everybody yeah. was so supportive and we need these kind of folks right because in that way everybody will feel independent and they will feel motivated to become independent so yeah. so sweet I, i i really loved it what all required a skill set right and how you actually Uh, acquired those required skill set to move into this data analytics domain because after such long time if somebody restarts so finding those proper guidance mentorship right the courses or anything becomes really difficult how did you find that and what all important skill sets you acquired nothing nothing just going through the odin school curriculum is uh, very much enough for uh, for the data analytics part because even before joining odin i have been through uh, separate uh, software skills but this experience is entirely different because we have live sessions and the way the uh, teachers and uh, our instructors they guided us was really very good uh, the python as well as sql as well as power bi, power bi we had uh, we had interactive sessions that helped me a lot uh we could even get some uh, doubt clarifications we have we have some forms for dis- to discuss if we have anything uh so mostly whatever is there from odin school i i could say that is enough what or skill sets like you followed thoroughly it was just python sql power bi or anything apart from that which made you a complete uh, analyst uh, product just python sql and power bi that's it and uh, i did some uh, machine learning uh, things as well share some demotivating moments which happened to you during the career restart like what kind of challenges and difficulties did you face while learning data analytics were you confident enough that you will make into it or you felt that now i should give up first thing is um, who the my co-learners are almost 15 or 14 years younger than me and uh, i have a long gap I, i i felt like uh, if i can compete with them or not what what, what i could do but still uh, i could uh, i had to practice a lot at home i had to do a lot of stuff i i could uh, i uh, try to get some time for myself going through the ho- household work as well as these things uh, i could get some time and uh, i do felt like i can't do it but still uh, i had the determination that i should complete it at any cost so that thing helped me to go till here uh, coming to programming and everything right from my btech i was really very interested into these uh, programming skills so i uh, i'm uh, like a continuous le- learner but still those things are completely different compared to this uh, data analytics part um the python uh, especially i faced some challenges while working with the problem statements and everything sql and power bi are uh, fine for me but uh, learning python is a bit difficult i think you can suggest uh, the folks like how you improved on that part because programming is all about logical thinking and like yeah. how you design your solution and then code it so how yeah. did you improve on that part if you can suggest something uh, i was just uh, practicing for myself I, I i want to get the solution so uh, I, i was l- l- looking through thinking through different uh, ways so for one problem statement i i, I, fe- i feel like I, i should get two or three problem uh, solutions and then i will find which one is better and then i could go for that even we talk about those folks who have the career gaps right even a 2 3 year of career gap creates a lots of hurdle while hunting for job okay yeah. so you would have faced lots of difficulties to get a job interview or 
like the interview calls because of the 16 year gap so how companies and recruiters were reacting to your year gap so how did you convince them that even after having this much of gap you are the good candidate to get hired for this position when my training was almost getting done uh, my resume has been sent to number of companies mm-hmm. but i could say that um, few of the companies have rejected my resume uh, i know that it is just because of the career gap but the career services department uh, has played a vital role uh, they they try to make my resume building they changed uh, to specifications they they did something and uh, apart from that i too tried my best i was i was learning i was practicing i was doing a lot of stuff uh, uh, it was a difficult thing i, I can say but still um, when i went to the interview and i faced the person faced the company people directly when when they see, see us they should get a confidence that they can do it mm-hmm. so that that plays the vital role while play, attending an interview we should have that confidence i i feel that is the main thing yes yeah i went through five rounds in the job for this job in in the five rounds uh, for two rounds i had to face the direct face to face interviews uh, for the technical round uh, i just informed them that i am 2006 graduate I, i don't want to mess up so i just informed them and immediately the, uh, the interviewer asked me what did you do till till now what were you doing so i had a reason that uh, i got married and then i worked for few uh, few months and then i i i stopped it but still i am a continuous learner i have been learning so many things in between and i am a freelance content writer as well so i could even give that that thing for them so they felt like it is okay can you also help the audience to know more about the interview process like how it went for you in the technical rounds what did they actually ask oh uh, the first round was a group discussion actually it was a walk in there were around 3000 people oh. uh, for the interview <laughs> and from there uh, they filtered 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 and they took few, uh, one a very few people so the first round was a group discussion and uh, they were asking uh, they were giving a topic they were asking us to speak about the, the us uh, mostly they were looking about uh, communication skills over there Mm-hmm. and after that uh, the second round was a uh, written written test wherein we are having uh, multiple choice questions regard related to mysql uh, and after that the third round is a technical discussion face to face interview um, there uh, they, they asked almost regarding python machine learning or oh, they, they went through the um, deep level questions and uh, after that after the third round the fourth round was like uh, the person the our uh, manager came and uh, he gave some problem statement he asked us to solve it so only few people uh, they took from there and uh, after that the last round was a uh, hr and uh, technical combined thing now since you have again restarted your career successfully you are in a job so how are you enjoying this phase are you satisfied yes. like do you have that self satisfaction yes now i am independent and yeah. what is your day to day things which makes you like uh, more happy and you feel motivated on daily basis to kept on going i'm really very happy with what uh, with the job which i acquired right now i'm really enjoying going to work and uh, well, speaking to different people and the work environment i'm really happy staying really? at home for a long time and after that coming out i could feel that experience no this is this is amazing i'm like i'm so happy while talking to you like when i'm listening your journey right i i can relate what all you went through and how did you like just overcome it and restarted so this is pretty amazing i have just one last question that will be the end of our podcast uh, any suggestion you want to give to the audience first of all like those people who are having the career gaps and especially the uh, housewives right they want to do they want to come out from that uh Stage. like daily routine and they want to start something how would you like to motivate them what suggestion you will give one or two hours of practice is really just enough to overcome these things and firstly for the people who are having career gap i could say that it is not at all a problem 
it is not at all a problem once we have the determination that we have to do it and we have the uh, we, sh we should we should be able to move forward we should not uh, give up at any stage we should practice learn and learn uh, our life is like le continuous learning process so we have to learn and we have to acquire whatever is re related uh, we have to uh, go along with the up update and updation whatever is happening day, day to day in li life so i say that never take career gap as an option just move ahead don't at all think about that whenever we are having the career services session few people used to ask vivek sir sir we are having two years gap i am having five years gap what should i do i used to just uh, listen to them and i just i never used to speak and, and i never told anyone that i'm having 14 years of career gap because if i think about that i i will i will go down right, so right. i don't want to have to think about that but just concentrate on the studies and just go ahead that's it even awesome. for freshers, I could say that just co concentrate on whatever you are doing and acquire whatever it is required. Nothing can stop you until you have the determination and you have the focus on your goal. Motivation overloaded, I must say. And I think this is, this is the great thing you did. You didn't let that thing run in back of your head like 16 yeah. year gap, 16 year gap, right? I Obviously never thought it would about have, that. Yes, yes. It would yeah. have demotivated you so i think like crazy st strategies and uh, whatever points you shared i think we sh all should learn from her journey i am very blessed to invite you on my channel because this is a very unique story maybe like i have covered for the very first time on my channel it's been more than two years i'm creating content but i felt so motivated today so i am really thankful to you that you joined us and you motivated the audience and all the best for your career you have restarted it so all the very best i hope like you will get all the great success thank you so much for giving me this opportunity i hope uh, this thing will help so many people who are facing challenges to go through with their uh, career so i hope this will help them thank exactly. you for everything so that is what i had for you guys in this podcast i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed this amazing amazing and really inspiring story of angelina how she restarted her career i'm pretty sure everything was really informative for you if yes then make sure to hit the like button as well and do check out the upcoming boot camps by odin school link is given in the description and if you have any question or you also want to share something motivational you have some thing to say about angelina's story as well feel free to put it in the comment section and if you are new to the channel then hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and don't forget to subscribe the data wale bhaiya the hindi channel link for that one as well in the description i will see you guys in the next weekend with another amazing podcast till then just keep exploring data